we will take a foreign news story to where Australia goes, yeah, we're doing what England and the U.S. are doing. We're going to shut the web down to a few thousand sites. It's Chinese communist-style Internet censorship, but it's for your own good. And we'll go see they admit what they're doing in Australia. So because we have an Australian film crew, did you find it? Because I want to punch it up on screen for people. Uh, here it is. Australia to implement mandatory Internet censorship. That's the Herald Sun up on screen right now for everybody. But, but that's not the exact one I want. Now, there's another one that says Chinese style. It may say Chinese at a communist Chinese. Chinese style net censorship for Australia. Chinese style net censorship for Australia. Or Australia to have Chinese style net censorship. I, I believe that's the, one of those is the exact headline. Uh, and you can pull that up. See, and, and before, I would just say that on radio and link to the story on Infowars.com for folks to go see it. And people would, ah, you know, on YouTube, post my videos. That's just made up. He just made that up. Now, because we're simulcasting video, I can throw the sucker on screen. I can do a Google search. I can say, thousands of government university studies show that watching more than an hour of TV a day causes massive brain damage because the brain goes into a sleep state and no longer connects new neural pathways. And then... They can Google that, and tens of thousands of the, of, the, of the articles and studies pop up, and I can click on them and show people. See? So uh, the mainstream media, a lot of this stuff's actually there. It's just people, we aggregate it and bring it all together. Look at that. Australia to follow Chinese, uh, China net censorship. And uh, what publication is that out of? That's out of the something today. I can't read it from this distance, uh, the URL. What's the URL? I want to know what newspaper that is. I know it was all over their major newspapers. All right. And that's a blog reporting on a mainstream news story. Um, your comments on this, Mike Rivero. Well, it's it's a panic reaction, and we've, we've actually been seeing this for a very, very long time. I remember back when I was first starting WhatReallyHappened.com, we had the infamous Exxon Amendment, and that was actually preceded by the disgorgement of large amounts of really ugly pornography all over the Internet. Uh, back then, most communication between people was done through something called U Usenet, uh, which was use, uh, news groups, and some were moderated and some were not, and the unmoderated ones were basically where you went for anything that, you know, that your, your taste went to. But somebody was spamming the entire Usenet groups with pornography that was going into cooking groups, it was going into crocheting groups, uh, and it was just really ugly, and we couldn't get them to stop. And I remember at the time saying, I think something is up. Somebody is seeding this stuff on there. And sure enough, Usenet got shut down last year. And that was clearly the feds planting that on there. So be aware yes. of the operations they run. We'll come back with Mike Rivero and Bob Daisy. Let's just take you guys to the end and take phone calls. And Bob's got a question for Mike Rivero, a mean question. <laughs> Silver is mankind's oldest natural antibiotic. This very special mineral has been used for centuries by most cultures throughout the world. Utopia, Texas is home to a small but mighty supplement company called Utopia Silver, who offers colloidal products produced in distilled water without use of animal protein, nitrates, or saline solutions. Because our colloidal silver is made up of nano-sized particles, it can be better utilized at the cellular level. And germs can't mutate to be resistant like they can to modern-day antibiotics. Utopia Silver has a broad range of health supplements, including colloidal silver, gold, and copper, with a money-back guarantee on the colloidal products we produce. For four years, Utopia Silver has been fighting in the Texas courts against agencies that would steal our God-given rights of health care and freedom of speech. Visit us today at utopiasilver.com. That's U-T-O-P-I-A silver.com. Or call 888-213-4338, 888-213-4338, and help us win this battle. May I have everybody's attention, please? I've come with a message of information. 9-11 was an inside job. Do you like being a puppet, sir? Do you like being a puppet for the New World Order? How do the American people know that 9-11 was a stage, was it engineered by you, David Rockefeller, the Trilateral Commission, the CFR? Oh, please sit down and shut up. The day that we stop asking questions is the day to grow at our own door. Seven years after the attacks of September 11th, a global awakening has taken place. An inside job? How dare you? If you know that there's treason going on, you can be held accountable for treason yourself. All hell is breaking loose on 6th Avenue. And if the government has not told the truth, in five years we will be here on the 10th anniversary of 9-11.
truth rising. Download the film at prisonplanet.tv right now or get the DVD at infowars.com. It's now time to take the revolution to the next level. Are you wondering about your retirement portfolio? Are you confident that the financial advisor is experienced enough to combat climbing interest rates, taxes, and inflation? Stop guessing and go to the expert, Robert Chapman of the International Forecaster. When you subscribe to the International Forecaster, you get Robert Chapman's 45 years of experience and concise investment recommendations. Who needs sugar-coated excuses when you can get the cold hard facts and proven investment leads you can't get anywhere else? For a free introductory copy to Robert Chapman's International Forecaster, subscribe now at the internationalforecaster.com or call 877-479-8178. Experience the difference. When you subscribe, you can email Robert Chapman directly to obtain investment advice tailored just for you. Don't wait another minute. Subscribe today at the internationalforecaster.com or call 877-479-8178. That's 877-479-8178. Phase one of the insider's plan for a one world government has been initiated with the recent bailout. International bankers and power brokers have engineered the current crisis to create a new currency and a new world bank to act as savior. But we've only seen the beginning. Their next engineered crisis will be on a scale never before seen in modern times. Shortages and empty shelves will spread fear and panic across the land. The insiders have discovered that they must control two things to seize total power. Phase one is a one world currency, which we are currently being prepared to to accept. Phase two of their insidious plan is complete control of our food supplies. Go to www.foodshortageusa.com for the details. That's www.foodshortageusa.com to learn how to prepare for the unthinkable. Don't wait for empty shelves. Learn how to make your own survival foods for pennies on the dollar. Go to foodshortageusa.com or call 877-327-0365. That's 877-327-0365. No, uh, Bob Dacey loves Mike Rivero. And, uh, you know, just like Dr. Paul Craig Roberts was saying people basically had to vote for Obama because we had to repudiate Bush's torture, secret arrest, our image in the world. I knew it was going to be a bait and switch because of his advisors and what he'd done in the past. But, uh, you know, uh, Mike said that if he didn't do what he said he was going to do, he'd go after him. And he has been going after him. But I was joking when I said it was a mean question. Uh, Bob Dacey, address your question from Austin, Texas. To Honolulu. Okay, Mike, how you doing? I'm hey. doing just fine. That's great. This is not a mean question. This is just a good intellectual journalistic question, okay? I go to whatreallyhappened.com every single day to see what really happened in the world. I also go to Infowars.com every single day. Those are my two super reliable internet sources. Ah, uh, Keebler Wars. With what? <laughs> Keeb oh, it's made up. Somebody will get the site now, but Whatever. Anyway, those, that's, that's where I go to, to, to know what's going on. And um, But I have a question for you because I was puzzled about uh, your editorial comment during the election that you seem to want to give Barack Obama the, the benefit of the doubt all mm -hmm. the time. And, and, and while I watched that, I said, you know, Rivero knows what's going on. Why is he doing that? And I was just wondering what you... Your, a comment about that as to why you were giving Barack Obama the benefit of the doubt during the election campaign. Well, unfortunately, uh, I was one of the people who wanted Ron Paul, to be very honest, uh, to well, be in, so in office. I. And when, yeah, and when it came down to a choice between McCain and Obama, uh, my preference went to Obama, but it was a marginal preference at best. And the only reason I gave Obama the benefit of the doubt was because when he first started his campaign, he was saying a lot of the things that made more sense, certainly, than John McCain did. Uh, then as he moved centrist, I began to have some real serious doubts. What I was thinking might be the case, and the reason why I said I'm, I'm, I'm going to look at Obama uh, uh, as marginally preferable to John McCain is that he might turn out to be another Jack Kennedy. Now, as you know, John Kennedy got into office, and he basically said, okay, I've got the job. I'm going to do it the way I think it should be done and not as I'm being to told to do it by all the people who supported me. And I was thinking Obama might be of that ilk, but sadly, that has not come to pass. And I'm, pr I'm probably as disappointed in him as just about anybody else. And as Alex Jones pointed out, yeah, I'm going after Barack Obama now. He's surrounded himself with a bunch of Clinton appointees. Uh, he is doing, I think, everything wrong regarding the economy. I'm even beginning to think that Alex Jones may be correct in that this is a deliberate takedown. 
because I can't imagine there is that much stupidity in the Obama administration. It has to be by design. Yeah, I mean, he was saying he was going to end the war day one, then it was six months, 18 months, now 23 months. And, you know, uh, that's why a lot of people did support him. But, uh, you know, I mean, here's Mike saying he got suckered. I mean, you know. Yeah, well, well you know, uh, we would, that's an we, honest answer, though. That's a good, that's an honest answer, you know. That, that, mm -hmm. I, I wanted to find out. I was Bob wondering. Jacy, also moonlights as an inquisitor. Well, uh, hey, you know, <laughs> the, look, look, Alex, you know darn well that the mainstream media will not ask any tough question of anybody. You know, they, they literally kiss the hind end of these people. You know, like like a few years ago up in Georgetown when when you were, when your crew was up there in Georgetown talking to Thomas Keene and I was up there for my TV show talking to Thomas Keene the chair.